it's a, a little like um, visualization kind of meditation to, to drop in here. Okay, so closing your eyes. And I kind of had this idea this morning when I was actually teaching my first class of sometimes feeling like I'm in an airplane, just kind of circling the runway. And it's like your mat is the tarmac. And I want you to see if you can just kind of land down. And really arrive in the body. Okay. And so as we set the tone for today's class, I don't know if you guys were big rollerbladers, but as a kid, I love to rollerblade. What I want you to imagine is that you're, you're by a beach with a long boardwalk stretching out in front of you. You're there skating, sun on your face, wind in your hair, sound of the ocean. And as you skate along, you're, you're really having like a perfect day. Happy, content, feeling healthy. Okay. And then up ahead, you notice something blocking the boardwalk. And it turns out there's a bunch of sand, right? The sand has blown over the boardwalk and it's actually really thick. And as you approach it, you realize you are not going to be able to skate through. And so the idea is, is that when you kind of come across the quote unquote sand, the setback, the little challenges in life, would you just kind of turn around and go home defeated like your, your day has been spoiled? Or would you find another solution? <laughs> Take off the skate, walk through, find a detour. With this idea that sometimes life can be tough, life can be hard. And sometimes we've been told to be tough, to push through. But when we do that, we become brittle and edgy and constricted. And we start to push our hardness back out onto the world. Yeah. Yeah. So today, from your inner body, can you try to feel more open? expanding here and in that, in that expansion it's like we're more open to solutions and problem sol solving and then as we start to flow in that openness instead of being tough we try to be soft and resilient so how does that feel in the mind, in the body, let the mind clear, let it be open, let the body open. And see if you can feel as the jaw unhinges and your shoulders relax. That sense of softening. At any point as we practice, you want to find the mantra, inhale, be. Exhale, soft. Find that rhythm as you let it wash over you. Be. Soft. 
One more. B. Soft. Eyes open. Come off your block. Turn forward to face the top of your mat. Okay, we're going to hold the backs of our knees, kind of cupping the hamstrings, and then just rock back and kind of hang. Arms are straight, feel your upper back broaden. Press the shoulders down away from your ears and then pull forward, rock to the tops of your sitting bones. Inhale, opening the chest and exhale, rock back. Okay, and then if you'd like to close your eyes, please go ahead. Drawing the breath up into the chest. Exhale, dropping it down into the belly. Checking in collarbone, upper back. Checking in rib cage, back body. Checking in core stretching, lumbar spine, engaging. Pelvis rocking. As you take two more full rounds, potentially with that mantra, potentially maybe already starting to come across a little sand in the mind, a little resistance in the body. But letting the breath give you that sense of openness as you make your way through when you come to the tops of your sitting bones last time. Cross your shin, plant your palm, downward facing dog. Okay. Find like the thermal sensors underneath the palm, the thermal sensors underneath the bottoms of your feet and try to evenly distribute that work. Take your knees down to the mat, tabletop. You're gonna take your double block onto New York style. Right foot will step forward. We're kind of in that 90-90. It's a very short lunge. Step forward, keeping your right heel on the mat, but it is okay to completely close the knee joint. Let your knees go past your toes. Readjust your back leg. It might need to slide back a little. And then we're gonna take these blocks out in front of us, coming down onto the forearms. I like to interlace my fingers or like make prayer hands. And so the right ribs are connected to the top of the right thigh. It's a little bit like that Achilles tendon stretch that we do sometimes in yin. We're not gonna be there that long. But trying to focus on actually that back left leg. And so as I kind of work with this like softening idea, I try to think of what does that mean for me? And when I soften, it's like giving a sense of permission. Right, that sensation is there. Sand is there kind of in my path. There's a resistance in my hips. I'm gonna allow it to be there. I'm not gonna try to like force and push against it. Right? And so with that permission comes this sense of allowing. Inhale. Exhale. Walk that back. Change leg. Left foot forward. You feel pretty short and then hinge. Yep, let that be supported. We're going to be working a little bit with this like rib, the thigh sensation here today. And as all sides pose, right, as you kind of feel some energy stretching out through the back right leg, you might find the top of the ankle, the top of the foot, the center of the right shin bone. Press that down into the mat and use that to slide in a little deeper. Mm 
And so I also use that mantra because I feel like if I tell my brain over and over again to soften, sometimes it listens, inhale. Exhale, shift that back, tabletop. Bring one of the blocks with you so it's kind of close to you as you press back. Downward facing dog, and then put the block up in between your inner thighs so that you can hug from your outer thighs, your inner legs, and press the thighs against the block, helping to tone the legs, getting a little bit more activity. And you guys know I always consider this a pen dispenser. Like I'm trying to kind of push that block, rolling it back. Right, like my teacher would always come around behind me and try to pull it out from in between my legs and that would help like roll my thighs, but it would also help me kind of tighten down. Keep that firmness, walk your hands back towards your feet, back of your mat. And whatever kind of suits you here, if you like to grab opposite arm, opposite elbow, if you just like to keep your hands on the floor for balance. And again, thermal sensor through the bottoms of your feet. Good. Now, as you gently squeeze the block, you could feel like you're also pulling your feet apart. Try to get that dual action. And find a few more, like the bottom of the exhales and see if as you find the bottom of the exhale and squeeze the block, if you can hollow out the belly, Vacuum it a little more, and does that create a little more space? You've got just a few more moments trying to find this alignment. Also feeling if I was there, I would stand behind you. I would put my hands on your outer hips. I would strongly firm in and think that I was lifting your pelvis up off the heads of your femur bones, making space there. Bend knees, drop hips, sit low, chair pose. Biceps come up alongside your ears as you drop down in it. Let's get one more time, just really, really solid as we grip that block. Maybe feel pelvic floor mula bandha. We actually connect heels through the backs of the legs, the sitting bones. Reach up through side body without tightening, stay soft around the side of your neck. And press all the way to stand. Let's keep the block. Take some baby steps forward towards the top of your mat. And bend knees, drop hips, sit low, chair pose. Belly button back and in. Lift the heels, balancing in a tiptoe, Utkatasana. And then as you squeeze that block, come to stand, almost thinking like a handstand here, weighted in the root of the big toes, finding the inner seams. And then Claire will remember this a little bit from Friday. As you hip hinge, send your arms back, Ardha Uttanasana. And then we're gonna drop the heels down, fold fully in Uttanasana. Just trying to keep reminding you because I forget gently hugging in against that block. I want those muscles to get a little bit tired. Bend knees, drop hips, sit low, utkatasana. Triceps forward, pinky edge side of the hand forward. It always helps me to think that I'm pressing into the narrow edge of a block. Lift the heels. Let the block actually help you. Squeezing the glutes. Hip toe for focus and balance. And then try to straighten the legs. Connecting all the way up here. Can we feel the line of energy from your toe tips stretched out through fingertips? Put a slight bend to your knees. Push the bum back. Rotate the pelvis. Chest stays open. Focus the eyes. And so do challenging things without getting hard. Thing open to just where you are. Heels down. Straighten legs. Lift kneecaps. Fold in. Can we get any closer to connecting our ribs to our thighs here? 
<laughs> one more, bend knees, drop hip, sit low. Connect it all together. So here the femur bones are down. We're even, and I just got a good one. From here, able to like really pull the center, my block down and back. Using like someone who's pulling the block to sink you in deeper. Keep that depth in your hips, you guys, as you lift the heel. Good. I want you to feel the muscles of the legs working. Straighten up here, think handstand. Might be a little bit easier to firm against the block here. Tops of the thighs roll in towards one another. Hip hinge, Ardha Uttanasana, kind of swan diving out over your legs. Heels down, straighten and fully. Utkatasana. Stay there for a breath as you inhale. Exhale. Remove the block, heel, toe, feet together. Okay. Yeah, still shins rolling internally towards one another. Circle your arms around and up, lift all the way to rise, Urdhva Hasasana. Inhale here. Keep your hips centered over the center of your feet, hold in, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, half flat back. Left foot, step back into the lunge. Okay, so I'd like you to stay in the lunge for a moment. Stack the back heel. Turn the left femur bone up and tuck the tailbone a little. And I like to think that my right sitting bone is actually reaching towards my right heel, right? That there's like a rope or a string helping to get a little bit more of that posterior tuck. And then drop your back left knee down. So we kind of are already open the front of that left hip, run your hands up the top of that right knee, interlace fingers, shift back everybody, make a little bit of space so that you can get even more posterior up. And then find that right amount, that balanced energy of dropping back in. Maybe it now moves up through the front of the left hip, up into the core, take your arms up. Anjaneyasana, interlace your fingers, flip your palm. See if we can lift the bottom back rib, like where your kidneys are, lifting those up away from the base of the sacrum. Bend elbows, cup head, arch up and back, open the chest. So this idea of staying open, but staying soft. Fingertips to the mat, pull your hips back, straighten the front right leg, okay? Go into cat pose, pushing the floor away. Yeah. And then shift the hips, pull forward into cow. Good. Get a little rhythm. Press away, cat. Turning your left hip into the work, squeezing the imaginary block. And then go ahead, come back into cow pose. Right sitting bone firms in. Now we go into cat pose, pushing the floor, come deep into the cave of the heart, point right toe and pick up your right foot. Can you bring your right foot in line with your right hip? Strong connection as we vacuum back from the toes to the knees, to the hips, to the core. Put that right heel down, inhale, cow pose, left toes stay, stay tucked. Find your version of a Hanumanasana. So a few poses, just dealing with some acceptance, like the limitation of where you are. Notice how much effort you put into wanting more, wishing it was different versus just, this is where I am today. Drive out through the right heel, chest up. And I've been thinking a lot of this, like being an upward facing dog with the energy coming from the back leg Speeding up good clerk through the spine. Shift your way back, downward facing dog. Inhale, pull that forward into plank. Exhale, straight down onto your belly. Point toes on the tops of your ankles. Press the heads of the femur bones down. Pin to chest, forehead to the floor. Interlace your hands behind the back of your head. Yep, behind the back of the head, cupping the skull. Good, Allie. Yep. Scoop the tailbone and pubic bone forward and down. Lift up, head, neck, chest, elbows, wing out. 
So do hard things without getting tough and then melt down. Continue there. Two more. Squeeze that imaginary block between your legs. Feel the strength of the low back, mid back, upper back. Drop down without squeezing around your neck. One more, maybe a little bit more internally. Rotate your thighs. Squeeze the block. Lift up. Throat open. Eyes soft. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to the mat. Press back. Downward facing dog. Okay, you're there for breath. But we think stay open, be soft. Inhale, right leg lift, three-legged down dog, bend right knee, roll right hip open. And step right foot, outside edge of right hand. Keep back leg lifted, just like we were doing in that low lunge, and then drop down onto your elbows. Lizard lunge here. So yeah, maybe this really is maybe like the first pose where you're coming into some sand. And I have a strong inclination when I hit my first kind of like roadblock. My number one thing is I try to distract myself. Right? How can I just kind of like get through this? And instead of trying to like push the sensation away, staying with it, feeling it being more of like a problem solver. Do I need more pushing down through the feet, more opening through the chest? Good, walk up onto your hands. Left foot is gonna step wide, outside edge of left hand. Inhale, open. Bend knees, drop the hips, sit low. Malasana. Yeah. As you dig into the heels, press to rise. Feet come together, Tadasana. Great. Roll the thigh bones back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hip hinge, always shifting forward. My hips really tend to go back. I try to push them forward. It'll get more stretch through the hamstrings. Inhale, lengthen. Right foot, step back into that lunge. I like to kind of feel the roundness of the heel, the roundness of my hips, the back of the heart, the back of the head, and that straight line, clear lines of energy. Left sitting bone, pulling towards left heel. Get a little more posterior tuck. And then back right knee down, keeping your right toes tucked under. Hands climb up that front left knee, back off. Scoop up. And then as you turn your right hip in, go ahead and slide in slightly deeper. Arms up. Full extension, connecting to the outer hips, interlace fingers. Maybe you put that opposite finger in front, right? As you interdigitate, pushing your left heel forward, right? When I push my left heel forward, it helps me to pull my side waistline back. Oh, that might help you stay out of your low back a little bit more. Bend elbows, cup head, find the upper back bend. Stay open in your heart. E even when we want to kind of collapse and constrict. Inhale, exhale, fingertips to the mat, hips pull back, straighten the front leg, Ardha Hanuman. Readjust the fingertips so you can take a strong cat pose and then shift it into cow, looking forward, not just with the eyes, not just with the chin, but with the heart. Come back into cat, vacuum up, back into cow. Belly button stretches, heart pulls away from the belly button. And then as you come into cat pose, point pose, so we get more quadriceps and lift left leg. Feel the quadricep engage as you float. And there is a vacuuming back sensation, pulling the energy from the toes to the hip. And then release, left foot down, flex foot, shift, gaze, look forward, cow. And then from the back leg. Wherever you land, Hanuman here. Good. So what if there was still that block between your inner thoughts? How would that help you adjust and fully align into the pose? Think up dog as you lift your chest. Good, you guys. Inhale. Exhale. Make your way back. Downward facing dog. 
leaving any of that like wish it was deeper wish it was different just being precisely as you are inhale forward into plank exhale bend elbows lower straight down onto the belly point toes maybe readjust the legs I like to think my kneecaps are turning towards one another one more time interlace the hands behind the back of the head lift the elbows and then lift the head lift the chest and lower Balance out the strength here. Lift up. I try to keep my elbows really winging open. I always think of them like wire coat hangers. Stretching open, try not to collapse. And one more. Tone through the legs. Can you feel that run all, all the way up the vertebra? Is there a place where it feels like you don't have strength or mobility? And then release. Plant the palms, press back, downward facing dog. Whenever you can remember, you guys, find the block between the thighs. It does help connect to core. Lift, left leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Bend left knee, roll left hip open. Good, and then step, left foot, outside edge of left hand. Lizard lunge. We'll keep the hips elevated as you slide the torso and elbows down towards the floor. One. Inhale, exhale two, where is that left sitting bone? Do you have control of it as you pull it into the pose towards the left heel? Yeah, nice, good adjustments, both of you. Walk your hands up underneath your shoulders. Right foot steps outside edge, nice and wide. Inhale, use that to get a little more length. What if you had a wide block, you were Pez dispensering back? And then bend knees, drop hips, sit low, malasana. Good, from your malasana, press all the way to stand. Feet together, bend knees, drop hips, sit low. Inhale, utkatasana. Interlace hands behind your hips as you fold in, uttanasana. Now, try really to get the ribs to the thighs. I know I always say that, but let's kind of file toes away and like, what happens to your knees? Are they still turning towards one another? Inner knees spiraling back faster. Outer knees actually rolling forward as you tuck in. Fingertips to the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Left foot steps back, lunge. Back left knee down. Right fingertips inside edge. Pull the hips back. And it's just slightly off to the side here, you guys. Right leg is just a little bit out on the diagonal. Yep. And then can you walk your hands forward and fold down and in. Good. So I kind of think of it like a puppy dog or a down dog. And it's that same thing. We wouldn't want the hips to shift. If you're anything like me, my left hip rolls open. I really want to turn my left hip in. Yeah, good, Allie. And see that that draws the hip back. And then from right hip, I'm pushing into the right hand to anchor back and lengthen. Inhale. Exhale. Hands walk back underneath your shoulders. Step back. Downward facing dog. Inhale forward into plank. Find your block. Squeeze. Chaturanga or to the floor. Cobra or up dog. Think about how it felt in Hanuman. That energy coming from the back legs as you lift up. Downward facing dog. Right leg lift. Inhale, bend right knee, roll right hip open. Step, right foot, outside edge of right hand, lizard lunge. Back left knee down. Left toes point, swing it across parallel to the back of your mat. Right shoulder hooks underneath right knee, plant right hand, Arda. This bomb matrasana as your left hand comes over the top of your right foot and roll open here. Good. Squeeze the kneecap to engage the quadricep. That's why we were lifting the leg. The more quadricep you can get, and then let's roll open here. Left ear on top of right ear. Left shoulder on top of right shoulder. Find connection as you release. Plant the foot down. Come back, low lunge. From your low lunge, letting your right sitting bone pull towards the right heel. Let that lift you to rise. 
high lunge. Straighten the front right leg and practice the hip hinge of the Ardha Manhir, uh, Ardha Hanuma, or sorry, Ardha Uttanasana. Bend knee, lead from that right sitting bone. Can that be what pulls you into your high lunge today? Straighten the front right leg, left hip is turning in. Hinge, stretching the heart beyond the toes. How's the like thermal heat sensor in the bottom of the foot? Where is that right sitting bone? When are you squeezing the imaginary block? One more. Rotation from the pelvis, excellent, leads you up. Find kind of like the stickiness in that back hip. Straighten the front leg. Hold in, left hip turns in, turns in, fingertips to the mat. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale now, can we get the belly, the chest, and the chin to connect to that right leg? Kind of the same principle, right sitting bone, tucking under, pushing the right heel forward, lengthen the spine, and step the back foot forward. Inhale, lengthen, feel the difference in the legs, hopefully. Exhale, fold in, connect. Remember, inner knee spiral back, and I grab my own ankles, you guys, and I help to manually manipulate my inner chin to roll towards one another. Yeah, good. Bend knees, drop, drop hips, sit low, chair pose. Interlace the fingers, fold in. Arms first up and bend over as you tuck. Fingertips to the mat, inhale, lengthen. Right foot, step back. Balance the work and right knee down, fingertips back. As you take that left foot just a little bit out to the side, mine is still on the mat, right? It's not as fully as we take it sometimes. And then puppy dog down the middle of your mat. Okay, what does it mean for you to like be open? And especially like when things in my life get like a little bit challenging. Like I think I know and I get very myopic. There's only like one solution, right? Is there another way to be in this pose? Okay, and it's, a, it's more like a, a resilience that comes when we approach a sensation in a relaxed way. Go ahead, inhale, lift up, press back, downward facing dog. Find your block. It should help the low back. Inhale forward. It's always Pez dispensering up. When you're ready, Chaturanga, chest stays open or it's the belly. Inhale, Cobra or up dog. Connection between the feet to the hands to the heart as you lift up. Send it back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, bend left knee, use the hamstring to really pull the left heel in nice and tight towards your left sitting bone. Left foot steps, outside edge of left hand, lizard lunge. Back knee down, point toe, pivot it across and tuck under. Plant left hand, Arda, half, this vam matrasana. Okay, I notice that my hips have a tendency to shift backwards. And you keep kind of lift the hips up, pressing that right hip over your right knee. And then get the side body, the twist as you open, as you pull and tighten the pinky head side, the outer left knee, the outer left hip. You try to stretch forward through the root of the left big toe. Good. Release that. Step it down. Meet me back. Low lunge as you unwind. Now it's all about the left sitting bone. Start from the left sitting bone, pulling towards that left heel, lift to rise, high lunge. Good, squeeze the block, right hip in, straighten both legs. Find your hip hinge, okay? So sometimes it's right like the, not the sensation in the body, it's the balance. Bend the knee, high lunge. Straighten, inhale. And then you fold in, is it soft, right? Like you can feel it in the jaw, in the eyes, in the heart, kind of wherever you land, that's precisely okay. Knee bends, come on up, last time, left heel pushing forward, side waistline back, straighten the front leg, 
turn into the work. Fingertips to the mat. Left ribs, try to connect the left thigh. Fold, drape yourself out over that front leg. You center in the front foot. You can use your hands wherever they are to help pull the shoulders back. Anchor them onto your upper back as your chest slides forward. Step back foot forward. Inhale, lengthen Ardha Uttanasana. Hopefully, legs feel more balanced here. Exhale, maybe hold ankles. Internally rotate thin bones. Really send those inner knees back as you fold in. Bend knees, drop hips, sit low, chair pose. As you press the stand, left knee draws up in towards your chest. Interlace your fingers underneath your left heel. So really grab the bone of your heel if you can. And then press down so vigorously that your left knee comes in line with your left hip. So my left hip is parallel. And then as I push down and pull up, I try to come into cat pose as much as possible. I try to really round my low back. Left sitting bone pulling towards that left heel, round into the upper back. Use your guys' strength of that left leg to stretch that whole fascia, all that connective tissue on the posterior chain. Keep your left heel lifted. Inhale, come back up to center. Step it back, high lunge. Straighten the front right leg, parallel your feet to the left. Interlace the hands behind your hips. Sitting bones pulling towards the inner heels today. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold in. Close your eyes if you'd like. Find your rhythm. What resonates with you today? Is it more like stay open? Is it a physical opening that you need? Is it some mental space? There's still that block between the inner thighs as they roll up and back. Hands to the mat, pivot turn, top of your mat, low lunge. Step back, top of your push-up plank. Inhale, exhale, elbows brush, side ribs, really good, you guys. Inhale, let's stretch the abdominals, lift up, whatever you need for the spine and front body to balance. Hold the block, hold the block, hold the block. Use your legs wherever you are. Downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. If you're ready for it, go ahead, hop, step, float, top of your sticky mat, feet together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, see if as we release the low back, I think it becomes a little bit easier to tuck fully in and round. Bend knees, drop hips, sit low, chair pose. Yep, and as we transfer the weight into that left foot, Right knee comes up in towards your chest and interlace the fingers underneath the heel. Really try to cup it. And then it's that process of driving right knee down to right heel, bringing your right thigh parallel. That should really round your back. Kind of push pull connection between the hand and the foot. See how that kind of reverberates down the spine. Pull the heart up into the cave of the body, vacuum out. The lower abdominal stretch that should hopefully be your quadratus lumborum a little bit. Latimus dorsi. Got one more breath. Make the most of that. And then as that right knee hovers, lift back up to stand. Squeeze the block. Inhale. Step it back. High lunge. As your right foot steps back, straighten the front left leg. Parallel the feet to the right. Hands at your hips. Connect sitting bones to heels, neutralize the pelvis. Inhale, open chest. Exhale, fold in, you guys, and then find all 10 toe tips and all 10 fingertips in a line. Keep the palms down. Inhale, straighten the arms, get a little bit more into your wrist, and then bend elbows. And if you have that tripod headstand practice, if you want to take a, a forearm, a pinch of my arasana, if you'd like to do something to get un inverted, to get upside down today. One. Inhale. Exhale. Stay. 
open. B, soft. If you're up, put the leg, come on down and meet me forward, top of your mat, low lunge. To step back, plank pose. Lift the lower abdominal, stretch the heart forward, inhale. Take your time, chaturanga as you exhale. Squeeze block, firm ankles. Yeah, even the thumbs pull towards one another as you broaden your shoulders, open wide. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, look forward, hop, step, float, feet together, top of your mat. Inhale, from the hips to the crown of the head, lengthen. Again, ribs to thighs as you tuck in. Bend knees, drop hips, sit low, chair pose. Drop the weight, keep it out of the toes. Left knee in towards your chest, please. Right hand, right hip, grab your left big toe, yoga toe lock. Take that left knee open wide and then extend the left leg. Now, left sitting bone, pull towards your right heel. Anchor back and down through the left sitting bone. Use your right hand to remind you to roll your right hip open. Maybe you even look to the right. One. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale for three as you bend the left knee. Put the left ankle on top of your right knee, flexing the foot. We're going to take a standing pigeon. So I fork lift, I bend the knee, I bring my left elbow on the inside of the left knee, I bring my right elbow around the outside of the left ankle, and I lift up into a standing pigeon here. Yeah, getting that outer left hip, I really control the work through my right arm by lifting the left foot up a little bit more and drawing the left foot in and letting the right left knee wing open. Can we feel more of an up dog in our chest? Left knee comes in towards your chest, arms up, inhale. Exhale, step, left foot back, high lunge. Control the high lunge with a connection to the right sitting bone, to the inner right knee, down to the right heel. Hands to the mat, right leg sweeps up and back, three-legged down dog. From your three legged down dog, walk your hands all the way back towards your feet. Inhale, find length. Soften that left knee until you can put your ribs on your thighs, standing split. Okay. So I don't usually normally care, and I still like don't, you know, whatever's getting you a good stretch today, you guys, but you might want to turn in a little bit today, turning that right hip down, right? A little bit more squared and still feel, would you be able to draw your left sitting bone towards your left heel? Does that help you get more control through the pelvis as you inhale look forward? Good. Walk your hands to the middle of your mat, and then can you squeeze your left knee in towards your ribs, doing a stag handstand. Left knee pulls in. That's the tuck today the rounding, the connection of the sitting bone to the heel. Good. When you've taken a couple hops, stretch it out, downward facing dog. Inhale forward plank. I like that you haven't taken a stretch it off, Allie. I abandoned mine. And chaturanga either. Find your, find your guys' vinyasa. You know what you need. Hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Okay, inhale, press. Find the top of your mat. Squeeze legs, squeeze inner knees, squeeze upper block, tube of toothpaste all the way through the crown of the head. And I like to sometimes grab my calf muscles and lift my calf muscles up. Lift my calf muscles towards the backs of my knees. And then use that flow of energy up into the sitting bone. Soften around the neck. Where do you need to be softer? Bend knees, drop hips, sit low, chair pose. Good, as we come into chair. Right knee draws in towards your chest. 
Left hand, left hip, grab your right big toe, yogic toe lock. Wide and open and extend the leg. Okay, right sitting bone, please anchor it down to your inner left heel. Okay, so just like sometimes putting like one specific place of focus can help us feel its relationship. Front ribs in, side waistline back. Maybe you turn your ribs, your shoulders, your gaze in the opposite direction of that foot. And then as you bend the knee and come back to center, right ankle over the top of the knee, prepare for a standing pigeon. Fork lift, get down and low. Scoop around the shin bone as you lift up. And this is a good place to really practice the thermal imprint, you guys, on that left foot. Mind shift. I want to feel centered. I want to actually feel that I can find the block between the inner thighs here, right? What would that do to feeling pelvic floor? As you try to lift up, think up dog through the chest, right? Like most people are going to lose that right sitting bone, letting it fly out instead of hugging and turning in. Inhale, exhale, keep the knee lifted, arms up, step your right foot back. High lunge. Inhale, drive with left sitting bone, hands to the mat, three legged down dog. Left leg lift, walk your hands to the back of your mat. This is where for today, like I usually like to let my hip open because I can go what feels like deeper, but I'm going to find the block today. I'm going to turn that left hip in, anchor my right sitting bone down and then fold it, okay? Maybe you'll find, like that's the, that's the finding the sand, finding the restriction, and finding maybe like a new way around it, a new opening. Good. Hands walk forward, middle of your mat. Shift the weight as you lift your right heel, stag, handstand, hop. Right knee in towards your chest. Yep. So we've done it before, like kind of trying to hold a block between our right thigh and our right rib, getting that tuck in. And then when you've had enough, downward facing dog. Good. From your down dog, stretch it out. Lengthen your down dog, maybe a little. Inhale forward into plank. Keep vinyasa, keep float, chaturanga. Inhale, inner knees are spiraling up, right? Kneecaps are facing towards one another, wherever you are. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lift, three-legged down dog. Draw your right knee in towards your nose. Can you connect the right thigh to the ribs as you shift forward and step right foot forward? Lunge. Hands to hips as your left knee draws in towards your chest. Okay, draw that left knee up nice and high. And now it's like a standing, this Vam Vachasana. I'm gonna take that left knee up and over my left shoulder, reach my left arm down. And as I try to go over the pinky edge side of that left foot, open up here. Yeah, there's a pressure between the elbow and knee, rolling the ribs open. Inhale. Exhale. Nice, you guys. Bend that. Come back to center. Fingertips to the mat, standing L. <laughs> From your standing L. All five toe tips turned down on that left foot. Inhale, look forward. Now bend both knees, you guys. Bring your inner knees together to touch and bring your eyebrows to your kneecap. Touch in, nice and compact. Drive it back open. Tuck in, compact. Hollow out the belly. It should feel like a cat pose without squeezing your neck. Stay soft somewhere, even as you do hard work. Inhale, open. How are the sitting bones connected to the heels? Keep the knee in, look forward. Shoot that left leg through pistol squat. Good. And as you find your pistol squat, flop. Good. Flop. Let your right knee open. Right hand, pinky edge side of the left foot. 
Use your left hand a little bit. I like to think up dog energy through the spine. Belly, chest, chin, connect the ribs. Fold in. One. Inhale. Up and out of that back right hip. Turning into the pose. Two. Inhale. Exhale for three. Inhale, lengthen half, flat back. Okay, turn it forward. Step that right foot into the mat. Can we shift, lift up, and then two, left leg back, low lunge, right foot back, plank. Inhale here. Feel the tricep, lower slope, but it's the heart. Stays open, eyes are soft in your up dog or cobra without being hard. Sometimes it's like looking at the soft little pillows of your cheek, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, left leg lift, three-legged down dog. How's the direction of your sitting bones? Do we feel a connection to the heels? Left foot steps forward, lunge. Hands to hip, right knee steps up in towards your chest. Inner thigh squeeze, find stability. Standing this Vamatrasana. So I pull that right knee up high towards my right armpit. Tuck right shoulder under, left hand over the top of the right foot. Opening here. How much resistance mentally, physically do you find? where you land today. Okay, there's some sand here, whether it's the balance, whether it's the tightness. Try to find a way through as you soften the knee and come back to center. And then standing, L, fingertips down as you drive the heel back. Last little push here, you guys. Inhale, chest pulls forward. Both knees really bend, so we get the small package. Eyebrows to kneecap and shoot it back. Inhale, open. Exhale, sitting bones are turning down. Tuck it into the heel. Press back. We tend to lose that. And then one more as you tuck, 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 and look forward. And can you shoot right leg through pistol squat? Yeah, and flop, left foot rolls open. Press left foot against inner right thigh. Find length up and out of the low back, gentle twist. Fold in here, please, connecting the ribs to the thigh. Inhale. Okay. Where can you find the least amount of resistance here? Right? The kind of wisdom that comes to listening to your body and just accepting. Inhale, lengthen. Half flat back. Release. Step your left foot back into the mat. Okay, push down, draw left, right knee in towards your chest, shift back. Final vinyasa, you guys, here as you plant your hands. Plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva. Yeah, nice roll into that belly could. And downward facing dog. Close your eyes. What does it feel like to turn the sitting bones down in your down dog, connected to heels? And then turn the sitting bones up. Hopefully we freed up that connection a little bit today. And through that freedom, you can actually find balance. Inhale. 
exhale. Look forward your choice. Hop, step, float, top of your mat. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bend knees, sit down and back, sit low. Oh yeah, you had it, Claire, good. Sit down and back low. Now let both knees drop open. Bottoms of your feet together. And I'm gonna let you guys choose, like I do not have a very strong or like deep Baddha Konasana, okay? The internally rotate the thighs, even kind of feeling that I could squeeze a block between my inner thighs is actually gonna connect me more to the feet. And then drop in here. And so I think, I mean, I have multiple issues with my pistol squat, but I think a lot of it actually comes from this ability, inability to like really get into the roundness of my lumbar spine. And it can even be interesting here. Can you find what is the connection between sitting bones and heels? Inhale, lengthen, half flat back. I'm going to keep my feet as I rock all the way back. Soup the bada kanasana. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale. Hold. Exhale out through the mouth. One more, fill up, be open, hold on without gripping, without being tight, <clears throat> and then let it go. Straightening your legs. Shavasana. And so maybe as you kind of skate through your day, there's going to be sand. And how do we handle that? Being open to solutions. Start to deepen the breath as you wiggle your fingers and toes. As you stretch your arms up overhead. And then bend your knees as you roll to the right. And press up to find seated.
hand in front of your heart center. And just take your thumbs to your third eye. Bow forward and seal your practice. Try. Sudatma. Mm -hmm. 